One of my favorite rules in Curator is actually this one, destination vulnerable to detected exploit. This is a default standard uh, rule in Curator that comes when you have the vulnerability manager component. Let's take a look at it and see what this rule is all about. Basically, the rules ask the first condition if what we are seeing here is a exploit or potential exploit. And again, that's building blocks, that's information you don't need to know. Curator knows a ton about those and has unique identifier called QIDs for the nature of every one of the attacks. The next condition is when it's local to local or remote to local, fine. And the last one is when the destination is vulnerable to a current exploit on any port, meaning if there is a match between the QID of the type of exploit and the QID of the type of vulnerability that this thing is going to on the destination, then this rule fire, which means something is that is vulnerable is under exploitation. That's what uh, this rule is uh, so very powerful. So let's fire the same attack uh, that we did on WannaCry uh, to see this in action. So let me start by actually uh, closing the path out, so I'm killing the uh, uh, connection for the machine. Let's go into the offenses. We shouldn't have any. And let's actually fire the actual exploit. And, and just to remind, if you watched the first video a while back, I'm launching the attack from this machine. This is a, uh, a vulnerable uh, Windows server. It's going to encrypt the files in here and then it's going to propagate, the worm is going to propagate and going to try to attack uh, this particular uh, machine, the 203, in here. So let's actually launch the attack, run as administrator, ignore the warning, and the malware has just started. You can see traces of the activity here. Actually, in the log activity, we already see, let's actually pause this and analyze this event, that's the eternal blue vulnerability. So this is from the 130 machine, the external machine, precisely going to the uh, 203 machine, the Windows NT machine there. Now we go to the offenses and we see that rule, which is enabled, and you should have it enabled if you have a vulnerability manager, which actually detected that the attack is actually still in progress. The worm is still doing his stuff. So it, the combination of three events and three flows indicates that the machine has been compromised. So we can actually take a look at the events. And these are the, SM, the SMB that we saw before, the SMB1, Windows Information Disclosure, Samba Exploit, and this one is the one generated by the actual firing of the offense, and we have uh, uh, three flows, maybe more than that right now, since the attack is still going on. Yeah, and we can actually see, you know, the destination port 445, that's the Samba thing. So the combination of those two things make the vulnerability being detected as exploited, and we got an offense firing. And also, we see that uh, because we installed that uh, WannaCry uh, content pack, uh, it, there was additional detection of uh, such an attack. We can actually see, you know, that's a WannaCry rule that was installed with the WannaCry package. Very nice. But if we go now to the vulnerability manager, this is uh, something that I like. And I list of all the vulnerabilities. And of all the vulnerabilities that I have in here, which has, you know, 4,600 plus, if I make this search, which is days, uh, uh, days since exploit attempt greater or equal than zero, meaning everything from now on, and I click search, I should find this vulnerability because it was exploited. And notice that it's here, the 2017-143, uh, that's the CV number. 
MS-17, the 10 is the Microsoft uh, uh, number for it. And these two others that I have in here, this is a, another old vulnerability that I have exploited before, and the system keeps tracks of it. So now you can get your vulnerabilities being uh, detected when when they have been exploited. This is unique because you have scanners that tells you what's vulnerable out there. You got IPS, as endpoint, and all sort of source of information giving you clues about what has been on their attack. But Vulnerability Manager is the only product that I'm aware of that can connect the dots and see this is vulnerable, this is under attack, here is what you need to uh, worry about the most.